Welcome back. So, beats. Not those ones. And no, not those ones either. Today, we're talking about scoring your script. Hi, I'm Baron. By the end of this video, you will not only know how to score your script, but why we do it. Well, Vera, you might ask, what is scoring a script? Scoring a script is when you add notations of beats and blocking to your monologue or scene. In today's video, we will be focusing on beats. But before we do that, you need to grab a physical copy of your script. In this video, I will be using a portion of Anne Putnam's monologue from The Crucible as an example. Before you start scoring your script, you need to read it one time through for enjoyment and basic understanding. Now you'll read it a second time, and this time you're going to find your objective. Your objective is the goal or target in your monologue or scene. It is what you want. Make sure you write your objective at the top of your script so you never forget it. Knowing your overall objective in the piece will help you direct your acting. But remember, your objective is not what you're trying to achieve as the actor, but what you are trying to achieve as your character in the monologue or scene. In this example, my objective is to reveal the truth. And now guess what? You're going to read your script for a third time, but this time you're going to find your obstacle. Sometimes it will be a physical obstacle. Yahoo! And other times it will be a mental obstacle. You want to be able to ask yourself, what is keeping me from achieving my objective? Once you figure that out, write it down at the bottom of your script. In this example, my obstacle is the denial of witchcraft in Salem. Having an objective and an obstacle creates the basic outline needed to add beats to your script. When you read your script through a fourth time, you will now begin to add your beats. Well, what are beats? No, not those. No, not those either. Ah, there we go. Is that joke getting old? <sighs> Whatever, I think it's funny. Well, anyway, what are beats and how are they used? A beat is a pause or change of action. A beat happens when a sudden change or realization changes the course of action you take to reach your objective. There are no rules or limitations as to where you can add your beats. You can have them after every sentence, every two sentences, or you can have multiple in just one sentence, as long as you feel that they are appropriate in the context of your script. To mark a beat in your script, you use a backslash. Then you write the words, I want to, followed by an active verb in the margins. Here are a few examples of active verbs that you can use while adding beats to your monologue or scene. You can find these active verbs anywhere, so you do not have to copy all of these down. It is important to know that only active verbs are used when scoring your script. Don't make the mistake of adding emotions and not verbs. A beat is a change in action, not emotion. In this example, you can see that I have five beats written down following the format I want to, followed by an active verb, in the margins. Some examples include I want to inform, I want to convince, I want to seek help, I want to beg, and I want to demand. Many actors make the mistake of writing my character wants to or my character is trying to. When you are scoring your script, you don't ever want to do this. When you score your script, you're not doing so as the actor, you're doing so as the character, which is why we always use the word I. And you never want to use the words trying to because you're not trying to achieve your goal, you're going to do it. So we always use the words, I want. I want to, and then it's followed by an active verb. This is the format we use every time we score. If we look back at my example, you can see that I never say character. I always say I, and I never say trying to. I always use the words want to, and I always follow it with an active verb that shows action, not emotion. 
If you feel that you still don't understand your character after adding beats to your monologue, you can use Uta Hagen's nine questions to further develop your character. Fun fact! Uta Hagen was a famous German-born actress and theater teacher who created these nine questions. Actors like Robert De Niro, Liza Minnelli, and Al Pacino all took lessons from her. Congratulations! You have now successfully learned how to add beats to your script. Let's review what we learned today. Today we learned that your first read-through is to gain a basic understanding of your script. Your second read-through is to find your objective. Your third is to find your obstacle. And your fourth is to finally add beats. We learned that we always want to follow the format I want to followed by an active verb when scoring your script. And if you feel like you aren't developing your character enough through the beats, you can also use Uta Hagen's nine questions to help you. This is just part one to scoring your script. Check out my other video if you want to learn how to add blocking to your script. Thanks for watching today's video. Hope it helped. See you later.